And now to our top story tonight. A young track star still recovering almost a year after he was caught in the middle of a gang shooting. 18-year-old Sariaco Dixon was shot in the back and is now paralyzed. He ran for Edison High School and had earned scholarships. Our Bailey Miller joins us in the studio. And Bailey, he's now learning to walk again. Yes, he is. Siriaco is not giving up. He says he's not paralyzed. He's just not able to walk right now. In this fall season, he was supposed to start college, but he had to delay. But there's no doubt in his mind that he will be there soon. 18-year-old Siriaco Dixon plays catch in his front yard with his younger brother and cousin. But playing like this, sitting in his wheelchair, is not the way he's used to. This is him playing football for Edison High School, but he also played baseball and volunteered by keeping at-risk youth out of the gang lifestyle in Fresno. But his main love was track and field. I did the 100 meter, and 200 meter, and a 4 by 100 meter relay. Yes, first leg. Started off the team. He was one of the top sprinters in the state and earned scholarships from all over. He accepted an offer to run for the prestigious Morehouse College in Georgia. Sadly, though, his running career was taken away after he was caught in the crossfire of a gang shooting at a Christmas Eve party last year on this road in Sanger. I was walking to my car because I was like, it's getting crazy now. So I had to leave and I heard gunshots and I knew I was hit. Dixon was shot in the back and shoulder and spent three months in the hospital recovering. He still has no feeling below his chest. It was traumatizing. It, 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 it really is. But coming back home, he was inspired with the help from his mom. Oh. He works religiously on his rehab, slowly but surely getting stronger every day. I'm not going to say I'm paralyzed. I'm going to say I'm, I'm unable right now because I'm getting there. Now all of his trophies and medals filling his family's home, serving as a reminder of what he says he will be once again. The body going to get there, you know. It's just I'm coming back, keep a smile on my face. Now in just a couple of weeks, Dixon and his family will be moving to Arizona so that he can join a program called Project Walk to help him rehabilitate. It costs about $15,000 and we will have a link to his GoFundMe page on our social media pages and our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Live in the studio, I'm Bailey Miller, KC24, local news that matters. We'll be cheering for him, Bailey. Thanks very much.